Welcome, in this video we will see building a bot to play last coin standing. This is a game where we have a pile of coins and each player takes turn to take a number of coins from the pile. There is a lower and an upper bound on the number of coins that can be taken from the pile. The goal of the game is to avoid taking the last coin in the pile. First, let's play it against a computer. So let's open my directory. So here is the script that is coins.py. Let's open the terminal, run the script, python space coins.py. You can see there are total 25 coins left in the pile and every time I can take max 4 coins, not more than 4. And the computer has already took 4, the remaining is 21. I will take 1, the computer took 4, you can see I am taking the coins, the 6 coins are remaining, I will take 2, it took 3 and just 1 coin is remaining and I have to take the 1 coin and I lost the game. So again I lost with the computer, try to defeat this computer, if you defeat the computer in this game, then send me the screenshot of the result. I'll give you one of my codes for free. Now let's see the code behind it. So again, I'm mentioning here the algorithm of the game. We are taking from the library itself only. We are not writing the logic of artificial intelligence to play this game. We are just utilizing the library. The library already consists the algorithm of this game. So first, easy AI, import it. Easy AI is an artificial intelligence framework which we already discussed for two players abstract games and import submodules from it that is import it. Create a class to handle all the operations of the game. There are a couple of parameters that have been to defined in order for it to function properly. The first one is players variable. So last class, last coin standing to players game. The first one is the players variables. Define the players, necessary parameter. Define who is going to start the game. So define in it self, comma players, self dot players equals to players, self dot n players equals to one. That is the players are numbered from one. And the number of coins, that is total number of coins, that is self num coins equals to 25. And number of coins the user can take at one chance is 4. You cannot take more than this. That is max number of coins per move. Define all the possible moves. In this case, players can take either 1, 2, 3 or 4 coins in each move. So define possible moves self. Return strx for x in the range 1 self dot max coins plus 1. Define a method to remove the coins and keep track of number of coins remaining in the pile. So define make move self comma move self dot num coins minus equals to int move. Check if somebody won the game by checking number of coins remaining. So define win self return self dot num coins should be less than or equals to zero. So the next function defines to stop the game after somebody wins it. That is defined is over self return self dot win. Compute the score based on win method. It's necessary to define this method. So define scoring self return 100 is self dot win L0. Define a method to show the current status of the pile and show the number of coins remaining in the pile. So define show self print self dot number of coins, coins left in the pile. Define the main function and start by defining the transposition table. So if name equals to equals to main, transposition tables are used in the games to store the positions and movements so as to speed up the algorithm. That is TT equals to capital TT. 
Define the method TD entry to get the number of coins. It's an optional method that's used to create a string to describe the game. So last coin standing TD entry equals to lambda self self number coins. It's an optional method that's used to create a string to describe the game. So next result depth move equals to id soul last coin standing range to 20 win score 100 td equals to td print result depth move. The function id soul is used to solve a given game using iterative deepening. It basically determines who can win a game using all the paths. It looks to answer questions such as can the first player force a win by playing perfectly? Will the computer always lose against a perfect opponent? At the end, start the game against a computer. That is game last coin standing, AI player TT, human player, game dot play. Let's move to the output now. Let's open terminal, run the command python coins.py. It's an interactive game, so it will expect input from the user. If you run the code, you will basically be playing against a computer. Your goal is to force a computer to take the last coin so that you win the game. So it is asking for taking coin. I'm taking the coin. The computer is also taking the coins. The number is decreasing. So you can see here, lost the game and computer won it. So remember that if you defeat the computer in this game, then I will give you the free coupon of any of my course. So that's it in this video on building a bot to play last coin standing. Thank you for watching this video.